There's arguably never been a more volatile time in the world of TV. For though there's more stuff than ever being produced at present, the security of new shows feels uniquely imperiled. Yep, it's time to spotlight the TV series that are somehow carrying on, even though you may have thought they'd been put out to pasture. I'm Ewan, you're watching What Culture, and here are 10 TV shows you thought got cancelled but weren't. Number 10. Halo Paramount's Halo series was seen as a colossal letdown for many reasons, and though the show's premiere marked a viewership record for streaming service Paramount+, Plus, apparently they never released specifics for these things, which is very suspicious, but anyway, a polarizing fan response for Halo made it easy to believe that its viewing figures must have swiftly dipped throughout the season. Paramount announced earlier this year that Halo was their most watched original series throughout 2022, topping even their hugely successful western drama Yellowstone. To Paramount's credit, I guess? I don't know what else I'd put after two here, but the company actually quietly greenlit Halo's second season more than a month before the first even started airing, suggesting their absolute confidence in its success. If you hadn't had your ear to the ground though, it was easy to take the vitriolic fan reaction as being indicative of Halo's outright failure, because if it couldn't even please diehard fans, how could it ever actually succeed? The strong viewership, Ostensibly, however, it suggests two things. One, casual sci-fi fans who've never played the games are somehow really digging the show, and you know what, good for them. And two, a lot of gamers have stuck with it, clinging onto the fumes of Halo nostalgia that are close to evaporating between this and the husk of a series it's become since Bungie wrapped things up with Halo Reach in 2010. Either way, Halo Season 2 wrapped shooting all the way back in May of 2023, and is due to premiere on February 8th in 2023. Number 9. Fubar Netflix's Arnold Schwarzenegger starring spy comedy series Fubar released to mixed reviews from critics, though it did nevertheless claim the number one viewership spot during its first two weeks of release. Again, these landmarks may as well mean nothing, but I can at least buy the idea that a TV show starring our beloved Arnie was the most popular thing on there for at least a few days. All the same, there was desperately little social media chatter about the show in the weeks that followed, suggesting that Fubar Fubar would be yet another flash in the pan streaming series, which lacked the long term engagement necessary for Netflix to grant it a renewal. That would make sense to me too, not shooting on TV as a medium here, but come on, it's Arnie. This guy needs to be in actual movies on the big screen. I'm not sure what we're doing here, even if Fubar is completely harmless as far as TV shows go. Either way, in mid June, barely three weeks after the show premiered, the streamer did in fact quietly renew it for a second season, even if the announcement came with such little fanfare that you can't really be blamed for missing it. Then again, with Fubar being a card-carrying dad show, its success may ultimately be less reliant on social media discourse. Translation, all our smart elders who haven't yet been poisoned by the well of social media are having a lovely time watching their little Arnie show without knowing of the internet's approval or disapproval. Oh, how I wish they could teach me their ways. Number 8. Quantum Leap the initial response to news of a reboot of hit sci-fi series Quantum Leap was not great, especially once original lead Scott Bakula confirmed he declined to appear in it, and the first season received wildly mixed reviews from critics and fans alike, who felt that it struggled to live up to the reputation of its predecessor or do much new or interesting with the series formula. With TV viewing figures dipping throughout the 18-episode first season, it felt like the writing was on the wall for NBC to can this one. And honestly, if you tried a few episodes of Quantum Leap before ducking out, that's probably what you assumed actually happened. But no, Quantum Leap was renewed for a second season, whose first half recently finished airing. With the two big Hollywood strikes causing a major pause in production, the second half of season two is set to air sometime in 2024. Given that season two's ratings have, so far, enjoyed a higher average than the first, it's also looking quite likely that it'll get renewed for a third. Number 7. Twisted Metal 
Peacock's Twisted Metal series, based on the hit vehicular combat game franchise of the same name, which hasn't had a new game released in years, but I digress, turned out to be a weirdly pleasant surprise this past summer, unexpectedly earning solid reviews following its aggressively mediocre marketing. And though it was quickly reported that the show set another elusive audience record for the streamer's comedy series, the radio silence in the months that followed, even accepting the Writers Guild of America strike that was ongoing at the time, left many viewers assuming that it wasn't going to be coming back for more. And that would make sense. I mean, the show's star leads and chaotic action couldn't be that cheap, and it would have shocked nobody if Twisted Metal was put on the chopping block, or the scrap heap. But at the start of December, more than four months after all the series episodes dropped, Anthony Mackie finally confirmed that it was indeed returning for season two. For a show that many had lost faith in from the moment its first trailer actually came out, that's quite the turnaround. Number six, The Witcher. Netflix's The Witcher faced a huge creative roadblock when star Henry Cavill announced his departure from playing lead character Geralt of Rivia at the end of his third season. And things didn't get much better when it was confirmed that Liam Hemsworth would be taking over from Cavill, a relatively underwhelming choice to replace him, all things considered. Hemsworth will play Geralt in the show's yet-to-be-filmed fourth season, which many fans naturally assumed would be the last, given the possibility that the show's viewership will take a significant dip without any of Cavill around. Except in a move that may actually surprise you, back in May, the show's casting director Sophie Holland casually confirmed that season 5 has been given the green light by Netflix, and will shoot following a quote-unquote short gap after season 4 wraps sometime next year. Yeah, it, it's certainly a bold strategy that Netflix is already invested in a fifth season, no matter that the Hemsworth-led fourth could very well end up being a massive ratings flop, no matter how good or bad it might be. Number 5. Alice in Borderland Netflix's thriller series Alice in Borderland seemingly wrapped up with its second season last year, which brought the story to a concrete ish close, and most notably finished adapting the manga source material. Though fans speculated about the possibility of a third season, Netflix's absolute silence on the matter for the better part of a year seemingly indicated that the showrunners had told the story they wanted to tell, which had now been concluded. But back in September, the streamer unexpectedly revealed that a third season is indeed in the works. Though the show certainly came to an organic stopping point with season 2, it proved so compulsively watchable that many fans will be doubtlessly thrilled for a third go-around, whatever it actually ends up being. Some have speculated that a season 3 could adapt the manga's sequel series, Alice in Borderland Retry, though given its short length, it'll certainly need some serious fleshing out. Number 4. Wonder Man Unlike every other series on this list, this one hasn't actually premiered. The Marvel Cinematic Universe's Wonder Man, co-created by Shang-Chi's Destin Daniel Cretton and set to star Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, began filming back in April, though it was shut down a month later by the Writers Guild of America strike. In October 2023, Joanna Robinson's book, MCU The Reign of Marvel Studios, reported that the production company was considering not resuming production after the strikes and shuttering the show altogether, leaving many to assume that it had indeed been cancelled. Yet, weeks later, Deadline reported that this wasn't in fact the case, and that following the conclusion of the SAG after a strike, production on Wonder Man was set to resume. Though shooting hasn't gotten back up and running just yet, and many understandably have low expectations for it moving forward given the whole MCU fatigue and superheroes getting a bit bad thing that's been going on the last few years, the reports of Wonder Man's demise appear to have been quite exaggerated. And while I'm here, what do you all think of the idea of a Wonder Man show? It kind of feels like one of those ones that would have played better 10 years ago when the MCU first started out, but I'm not so sure now. Let me know in the comments. Number 3. That 90s Show that 70s show sequel series, That 90s Show, premiered on Netflix this past January to mix to positive reviews. Although the new ensemble cast couldn't hold a candle to the beloved originals, it still had enough charm to be a passable sit, largely thanks to Kurtwood Smith of Robocop fame and Deborah Jo Rupp. 
But the ratings appear to be something of a mixed bag. It dropped out of Netflix's global TV top 10 after just three weeks, where it peaked at the number four spot. Hardly super encouraging metrics, if they're actually real metrics, but again, for a sequel to one of the most beloved sitcoms of all time. Between this and the general silence about a second season, it was easy to assume that that 90s show was just another one and done revival. But in actual fact, Netflix renewed it mere weeks after its premiere. Yet with production on season two being stalled by the aforementioned strikes, there hasn't been much room for the cast and crew to talk about it over the last six or so months. Season two is currently filming though, so it's reasonable to assume that it'll be released in the second half of 2024. Number two, Citadel. Yeah, are we even sure this show actually exists? It looks like one of those algorithmically generated straight to streaming things Netflix has gotten so good at with stuff like Red Notice and The Grey Man. Amazon's spy action series Citadel made troubling headlines long before it even premiered on the platform, given that the six episode first season underwent extensive reshoots in 2022 with a new showrunner, bringing its budget to an eye-watering $300 million. Oh boy, that's a lot of simoleons. Between all this, mediocre reviews, and apparently middling viewing figures, the writing was on the wall for the Bezos factory to cut their losses and quietly cancel Citadel after just a single season, no matter that they'd already committed to producing a second before the first had even premiered. But in a head-scratching move, Amazon indeed stuck to their guns, confirming back in May that Citadel will return for a second season, directed by Exec executive producer Joe Russo. Yay! This may be a result of Amazon effectively going all in on Citadel as their next big TV IP. They've already shot an Italian spin-off, Citadel Diana, with an Indian one soon set to begin production, while others set in Spain and Mexico are also in the works. Jeff, mate, just listen, C could you not just use your money for cooler things? Thanks. And number one, from. Epics and MGM's sci-fi horror series From enjoyed rave reviews from critics in its first season, with many perhaps prematurely dubbing it the new Lost, aided by both the involvement of Lost producers Jack Bender and Jeff Pinkner, and star Harold Perrineau in the lead role. Though the network was suspiciously cagey about season one's viewing figures, it was renewed for a second season shortly after the first finished airing. But season two received a more polarized response from fans, with some ultimately turning that Lost comparison on its head in a negative way that the show had become J.J. Abrams' acclaimed mystery series at its worst, meandering, self-indulgent, and ultimately frustrating. As a result, many suspected that the show's viewership declined enough throughout season two for it to be cancelled. Yet, in an unexpected move, mere days after season two wrapped up, MGM indeed confirmed that it'd be back for a third season. If the creatives can listen to the vocal feedback about season two, then there's every chance From gets back on firm funding moving forward. For everyone who's watching, fingers crossed.